What is going on guys? It is Ahmed and I am back today with yet another opportunity as always for every single one of you. Guys, I want to start off by saying thank you so much for all the love and support you have been giving me. If you guys could see here, we're at 6.88 thousand subscribers. We are growing massively guys. So I am so thankful for each and every one of you, especially the family who joined the Discord. We are killing it. All the recommendations that I've been seeing, all the news as it comes out, it's been fantastic. So if you haven't joined, the Discord is in the description below. There's no charge, there's no privacy, it's just it's a public Discord for all of the Your Pop family. Again, let's go ahead and get right into it. Today, what I want to talk about, guys, is this new news about Kathy Wood and ARK Invest. They are planning to start a new ETF, guys, ARKX. It's a space exploration ETF to tap the growing industry that is of all things space. So, guys, why am I even mentioning this? So some of the things that I've mentioned in my channel before, you know, this um, pretty epic rise over the last few of uh, over the last while, excuse me, is VGAC. So I'm an investor in VGAC. I bought it a while ago when it was, you know, pretty much at the SPAC level with the introductory SPAC level around the 10, $11 mark. And today what we saw was this weird increase in price in the aftermarket. So I was like, hmm, that seems kind of strange. So I did more. I did further digging before I found out about the Ark Invest um, ETF plan, and I saw you know seven percent increase, SPCE, fourteen percent increase in price. That's Virgin Galactic. Um, again, SRAC, another um, another company that is looking to do you know again to kind of infiltrate the space um, sector, up twenty one point eight five percent, and lastly. NPA again, they are looking to it's a spec that's looking to merge with um, it was the world's like first and only mobile um, provider that's going to be you know again using broadband from space up 13.48 percent in the aftermarket. Guys, this is huge, and these are opportunities that we cannot miss out on. Again, I found out about this, I found out about all this you know early in the aftermarket, and for all of you who are interested in trading the aftermarket. Please, 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 especially for you Robinhood traders, look into downloading Webull so you have access to that. If you deposit $100, you do get four free stocks from the referral in the link below. So go ahead and, you know, go in there, download Webull, just so you have access to um, the, pre, excuse me, the pre and after market. So then you can buy and sell stocks uh, after the NYC, uh, NYCE or the NASDAQ and everything like that closes when the market officially closes in the United States at 4 p.m. Uh, Eastern time, you still have about four more hours where you can trade, and also in the morning, you can start about 4 a.m., you know, a few hours before the market opens. So, guys, the reason that I'm mentioning all this is because these plays are still very, very early on in their stages, especially the SPAC, for example, NPA. I haven't covered it on my channel, so that's full disclosure, I'm being honest. But VGAC, that's the thing. VGAC is right now, you know, there's a potential where there's this thought. Uh, Richard Branson wants to uh, merge with one of the Virgin companies. Virgin Orbit, um, again, is kind of the p potential, but there's also a Virgin Hyperloop, and then the um, Formula One company that's also for Virgin, potentially going to help one of those companies go public via a SPAC merger. Now, we don't know for sure, but as you can see, there's maybe some speculation and people are buying into these rumors slash it's more news now at this point. So guys, what am I doing? What do I think you all should do? Now, I'm not a financial advisor by any means, but I'm telling you what I will be doing. I wanna increase my position size. So especially for the SPACs that are early on. So um, again, this one here, it did have you know quite a run up. It's still back now it's at its all time high. Again, like any SPAC goes around the $10 mark, looking to infiltrate the space sector at $20.80 a share. I'm hoping there's going to be a little bit of cool off, but I don't know what's going to happen, especially if ARK is creating this ETF. They're going to be grabbing all these disruptors, putting them in the ETF, and the prices are going to skyrocket if they put their money into it. Because, you know, people follow Kathy because she's brilliant. She's an investing genius, probably the best in our generation. So, again, what she does, what ARK does, we kind of want to follow. But again, we want to make informed decision, do our own research, do your own due diligence before you put your money into a stock or a SPAC. So again, VGAC, still very excited about it. At $12.50, it still has huge room to grow. Say VGAC ends up, again, um, announcing some type of merger with any of the companies that I mentioned, but specifically the one Virgin Orbit. Guys, 
this is going to fly. Definitely going to be part of that ETF. No doubt about it, because that's going to be a one huge disruptor. Again, Virgin Galactic, we've seen it. Again, you know, it had its run up. If we look at the six month here real quick, we saw it got up to all the way to 3380 <clears throat> before it came crashing down quite a bit, like a lot of things do. Um, but again, at 3140, pretty expensive, but still, I'm pretty excited about what we have to see. Again, if these are included in that ETF, we know dang well that these prices are just going to skyrocket. Um, so guys, keep these on your radar. Look into these specs, NPA. I can make individual videos about them if you guys would like me to. So comment down below what your thoughts are. Again, I'm just here to inform you guys. I try to be timely with my information because these are pretty small, um, small market cap stocks. Yeah, they're very, very young. They're 377 million, 383 million. Let's look here. Um, Virgin Galactic, again, they grew quite a bit at 6.46 billion, but the sky's the limit. Actually, no, space is just the start. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in and all the support you have been showing me. You know, hop in the Discord if you have any more recommendations, if you have things that you guys want to talk about. Message me personally because I love interacting with everyone. And it might take me some time to get back to you, but my promise is at some point I will respond to your message and I will try to acknowledge your comment and give you my response to it as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. And until next time, guys, look into some space. You know, we're trying to take it to space. We're trying to go to the moon, as I always say. So until next time, keep investing, folks.